Complin for Tuesday night, August 25th, begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. And we'll take just a minute to be quiet. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The psalm tonight is part of Psalm 119, beginning on page 769, verses 73 through 80. We will read this together. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me because I trust in your word. I know, O oh Lord, that your judgments are right and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let your loving kindness be my comfort as you have promised to your servant. Let your compassion come to me that I may live for your law is my delight. Let the arrogant be put to shame for they wrong me with lies, but I will meditate on your commandments. Let those who fear you turn to me and also those who know your decrees. Let my heart be sound in your statutes, that I may not be put to shame. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. We continue on the middle of page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Together, let us say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Together, let us say on the middle of page 134, 
Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. At this time, if you'll unmute yourselves, we will have prayers either silently or loud. Melissa, Alan, Ruth, Carol and Dave. For Jacob and his family. Kathy Devaney. For Seth. Mark. Scott. Prayers for safe travel for my nephew Ed and the two of the Healy Coast Guard ship, which had a fire on board a few days ago, and they're trying to get back into Seattle on one motor. Ooh. Mm. Those in the path of the hurricanes and the fires and the protests. Thank you for the beauty of your creation in these beautiful mountains. We lift all these prayers up to you in your name. Amen. Amen. Together on the bottom of one page, one page 134. Guide us, O Lord, and, and guard us, that, that we may watch with Christ, Christ and asleep, asleep we, we may rest in peace. peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God, the almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen.
That was lovely, Dee Dee. Yeah, that's pretty. Thank you.